me and Charlie have been spending the day together, and I think we're doing all right together. He uh, he don't seem to mind riding too much. We've been uh, over to Mike's house, and over to Dead Eye Dan's house, and he got to bark at one of Dead Eye's cats, and that sort of made his day. So things are going pretty good. We're heading back home now. I got a trunk load of snow fence in the back, and I was thinking, well, maybe I can get out if the if the snow don't get too thick. Maybe I can get outside and. Uh, put some poles in the ground and spring up some fence around the backyard for Charlie to have a place to run around. I think he'd like that. It'd be a nice little thing I could do for him. All right, then, this year's what we went over to Dead Eye Dance to fence back. This year's what you call snow fence. It's plastic, and it's pretty lightweight, and it's easy to, you know, string up and move around. My thinking is I can uh, put some little, uh, uh, put some little rods in the ground. And just run this right through the rods, or run the rods right through this, and then we'll have us a fence. We doggies. Speaking of we doggies, that's the whole point of this, is to make up a safe place for little Charlie to be able to get out in the backyard and run around. I'm just going to throw this in here for now. Maybe. I got another piece in here. And Dead Eye City had about 80 feet of the stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't that much. So, I got that. And then around here I got a bunch of threaded rods that I brought up from Georgia with me. I'll show them to you sitting right down in there. If you look right in there, you can see them. And uh, they're about eight or 10 feet long. My thinking is that uh, I can cut those off in little, sec little sections. And uh, I believe they're small enough, even though the ground is froze, I believe I can still drive them down in the ground. So what I want to do is uh, come back here and fence off a section for Charlie to run around in. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, yeah? He's putting his two cents worth in out there. Uh, and I'm thinking I'll start over here at the corner of the house because it's a good little bit of bare ground. And, oh, let's see. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just fence in this bare spot, come out from this corner, you know, out to about here, and then go up. If I went straight up to the left of where that boat is, I don't think he could get over in there and climb out. I'm sure he could not right now when the snow is tall. Uh, and yeah, there may be a possibility he could crawl under the building back in yonder, but that ain't gonna happen till springtime. And even all up in there, that part is uh, somewhat pretty inaccessible for a doggy. I don't think he can get under the house. I got some screen wire up under this back part and all, so. Yeah, if I came out, and I wouldn't even have to get over here in the deep snow part and then just came up along the side of the boat, I believe that would do. I believe that would do to, to give him a little place to run around and he wouldn't be able to escape. And then as the snow melts, I'll come back and replace that with some real fence. Oh, I like the looks of it. Oh, the joy.